hard uh, you know every every training camp every beginning it's hard but uh, you gotta go through it and uh, that's the beauty in it. as you guys wrap up this first week just how have you guys been able to keep up the energy that you started the week with as you continue for upcoming season uh, i like how guys came ready you know everybody came in, in good shape and uh, you know, I'm coming to the World Cup and I was playing two weeks ago, something like that, I don't even remember. And everybody is already in the game shape, so it's good to see uh, that the, the guys were really uh, working hard this summer. Uh, and I'm just happy with the progress. I can see uh, a lot of improvement uh, with a lot of guys, with a lot of teammates. Uh, you know, of course, DJ Trey. Jalen O, it's been surprising really, Clint, uh, everybody, you know, really, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and work with the guys, uh, I'm happy to be back and competing. As far as the, you know, different combinations that you guys have run through throughout the training camp, what has surprised you about some of the things that Clint has kind of come up with? Um, learning the game, you know, learning uh, what we are best in it, uh, what is our advantage. Uh, pace as usual, uh, and you know, just to read it, be able to read the game in, in, in the moment. You know, uh, we have uh, such a talented team that we really got to do uh, most of the stuff on the floor. Uh, most of the guys can shoot, most of the guys can run, most of the guys can push, uh, a lot of guys can pass. So it's, it's great to have a team like that. that we uh, if you're all together. On, one, one page, we can, we can be really good as a team. Having participated in the World Cup and then transitioning over to training camp, did you see like that kind of helped you transition over and start I playing? I honestly like that. As I said at the end of the year, I missed a couple uh, uh, last couple summers. I I didn't play for national team. I, I was hurt, or we didn't qualify, or I don't know. It was also COVID messed everything up. So. Uh, I'm just glad I'm back to my routine, you know, being with national team, get ready. Uh, me personally, I like to practice with guys, you know, compete. Uh, I don't, I do individual work, you know, but I don't like that uh, a lot, you know. I would rather go with two, three, four, five guys, you know, in the gym and compete and do, do work uh, than, than do it by myself. Um, Basketball is team sport in the, the end of the day, so I'm always thinking about uh, other guys as well. So in transition well for me, and uh, I'm just happy that I'm healthy and uh, in a good place right now. You talk about you know not having COVID, not having injuries, yeah. to recover from. Talk about having that and now getting ready to play on Tuesday. You know, I just have to think about what you look for from the team and from yourself the first time against some competition. Yeah, uh, getting back and ready. First of all, mentally, you know, finding uh, that extra motivation that's really important because everybody is going to be motivated. This is another NBA season. It's going to be tough. All the teams are always uh, trying to compete, especially at the beginning of the year. Um, everybody playing good basketball. Everybody is trying to show what they did during the summertime. Um, you know, fighting for spots in the league, fighting for contracts, fighting for minutes. Uh, that's what the sports brings, you know, so it's going to be fun, uh, but uh, I think we are ready, first of all, me mentally and physically. When Quinn is hired, you know, 24, 48 hours later, he's coaching a game. Now it's, you start a whole season fresh, you get a training camp. How is it different when he has time to prepare? It's way different. First of all, Quinn is... Uh, He's a great person first. He didn't, he didn't came in last season and I'm going to set my system right away. I'm going to change everything. Uh, he kind of learned about us, what we like, what we do. He, we run the whole uh, sets of, I mean, last season we almost ran everything uh, from the last season, from, from, from Nate, Nate's offense. So uh, now it's like working on this, uh, our teams, our, our, our set plays. Um, and getting into the season and improving from it. You know? So it's uh, kind of solving the puzzle with the, with the, with the good pieces, you know, and uh, kind of uh, it's easier to, to solve it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's easier to, to add pieces around 
uh, when you have a good base. So I think uh, that's that's uh, that's the difference. Today. <laughs> I have this every day. I have this every game, every day. You know, uh, I don't know what to do. I, if you have some advice, get, get I don't know. Get, get, or, get, or, get everybody like the manicure gift card and then go get like. Maybe I should wear it. sleeves, sleeves, sleeves. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, uh, Clint said over the summer he was practicing his corner threes. I just wanted to know if you've seen him shoot that at all in practice, and as a skilled shooter, what do you think of his form I think Clint can shoot, but uh, I mean, he will not take the three in a, in a game. In a real game, I don't think he will take i never seen him. So if he takes out and he makes, of course, I'm going to celebrate. If he doesn't make, I'm going to scream at him, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I don't know who's going, but uh, we have a group text, so I don't know who will have a free time to go. So uh, I know I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for sure.